thank you for coming back to the channel everybody for today's video. Today's video is you can see the theme. I've got the Alien Queen. That was the first pop I had actually gotten from collecting Funko to get me started down this journey as well as this Ellen Ripley one that was just recently released with that beautiful GameStop sticker, the red one, which I don't agree with. I like the black one better. Let me know your opinion down in the comments. But today's video is about the Haya Alien Power Loader, Aliens Power Loader that Ellen Ripley gets in throughout the film. I was gonna be doing an unboxing of this as you saw from the thumbnail, but that's pretty much what today's video is about and let's get it started. <laughs> All right, so let's keep it short, simple, and show the review. Let's cut into the box and see what's inside of here. It's super light compared to what I thought it was gonna be. Um, so I have the pops here to just kind of have a theme as well as this one to be out of the box. This is Ellen Ripley that was recently released, of course, of her and the power suit when she fights the alien queen in Aliens. But there we have it, I'm gonna put that there. Ooh, I was super excited when uh, Went into GameStop and they said your pre-order has come in and this was it. This is what it looks like coming straight out of the box. I mean, I could have shown the boxes first as well. This is kind of what the box is looking like. I'm rushing. I don't know why, but there we have it. The power loader. And there's the side with a kind of a an awesome scenic looking photo. Uh, they just have a random character in there that says figures not included, of course. It is the Aliens 35 Anniversary stamp on the side right there, as you can see. And then that's what the ba uh, box box looks like. Check out that UPC. Nice. But on the back, I can't even hold it. It says, Exquisite Mini is a new standard setting series for 1 18th scale featuring super articulation action figures under Haya Toys. I don't know if I'm saying that properly and if there is a I will put down in the description down here the link to their uh, actual store but I did pre-order this through GameStop um, but that is basically what the box looks like the top and of course the bottom says the same thing as well uh, then the other side just has another art piece uh, from the box itself if I can get it to without a glare But there we have it. This thing looks super sick. It's really detailed. So I'm gonna go ahead and oh It's taped can't even see the tape, but let's cut the tape oh, This thing looks awesome um, It's gonna go ahead. Oh wow, it does this is actually kind of surprising. The articulation on this already is super, super, super awesome. Um, it has a few moving parts now. I don't know exactly know how this all works, but it has so many points of articulation. I thought it was just going to be like more of a little statue. This is phenomenal. Now, I don't know if you can actually put figures in here. I didn't do a whole lot of research when I first bu uh, bought this. I just saw it was coming out and I definitely had to have it. Um, but this, I have to find a place for some of my alien stuff because originally right here, all my alien figures were supposed to go as long as with my predator right next to him. But that was later down the line. I just never got to it. So basically, Abominable Chomp and my grails kind of took over the place for now. But look at this thing. This thing is phenomenal. The thing, it just moves. The little cables on the back or they, they're little rubber pieces and they're just like the hoses. Uh, the clamps, they move themselves so you can actually clamp something in them. And I've noticed this thing is kind of hanging. I don't know really, not really much instructions in the box of course, but there's the base here. It has like a graded base. Now, I don't know, I see that it has little peg inserts, like the little pieces that kind of stick up right there. I don't really see them on the bottom of the power loader um, but this thing so far the paint job on this is phenomenal like you can't really get it here uh, they did kind of dirty it up and it's a little bit more yellow but the detail this is a Funko Pop compared to this one is the detail is way better uh, of course now I'm gonna actually gonna look into this and see like if there's figures I can actually stick in here because that would be awesome definitely we'll be trying to find an Ellen Ripley to stick in here and if there is one Ooh, I'm excited. But yeah, I'm gonna have to actually figure out how to what this little piece here is for. Cause it's kind of dangling. Uh it just kind of dangles there on both sides. But this thing, 
is just looking amazing. Now, I don't know if we put it like that and just kind of style it. But there we have it. This is the Haya Power Loader Exquisite Mini. Um, this is the first. And if they drop more, I definitely will be investing in them. I did pre-order an Alien Queen. This thing is kind of crazy. There's like, there's the pieces move pretty, I mean, from the toys, I buy NECA a lot. And the NECA is a really stiff figure. You have to put it in wa hot, warm water to kind of move it and articulate it. Especially with the big guy back here. That one is super hard because his feet are tiny. I don't know why they decided to, which, if he has tiny feet in the movie, of course. But you have to have something for him to stand on. But let's jump into the figure again. Like I said, the paint job's amazing. The textures of the rubber in the back here, that is a awesome little piece to add to it to make it feel more realistic rather than it just being plastic and you can't really move it around. That's something I really do like about the figure. And then you have the little uh, thing up here, which it doesn't light up. That'd be kind of cool if it did. But there we have the figure. Don't really have a little piece that goes in it as well. But there we have it. That is the figure itself. Uh, I'm going to kind of give it a little spin around. Get a little closer to the little hoses in the back. This thing is by far one of my favorite figures from the Alien line. I can't wait to actually get my Alien Queens out of the, the boxes, the Alien NECA Queens. I have the Aliens uh, and then Aliens 3 Queen. Uh, I can't wait to get the Red Queen, but I'm kind of getting distracted. That's pretty much what today's video was about. Let me know down in the comments what you thought about the figure itself. I mean, it has so many points of articulation. You got the the claws can move from left to right. They go up and down. They can clamp to hold something, which I think is super awesome because if you're into toy modeling, you can put that up against an alien queen, grab a hold of it, and it holds the figure there. And it can be as a support as well. But both of them do it. They lift out. They don't go really far. They kind of rotate back more than up. Like a pinch in your shoulder blades. Uh, there we go, yeah. So basically, they just lift up like that right there. And that's basically the whole figure itself. Doesn't come with anything other than this, the stand. But look at this thing. This is something I can't wait to display, get it on the shelf somewhere, and put it next to the queen. Maybe do some photography as well as some little action minis. That would be kind of cool to do a little action mini, like stop go stuff. That's something I'd be looking forward to because these little clamps, I can hold pretty much anything in them. But that's the figure itself. So let me know down in the comments what you thought about the figure itself. And the price on this, I'm pretty sure... I really didn't state that in the very beginning. And that's my uh, that's my fault. But I think it was like $39.99 if I am correct. But if I am not, I will edit it and put it down here. And definitely make myself look like an idiot, of course. But let me know down in the comments. And then don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell to get my videos when they first drop. I will see y'all in the next video. <laughs> Later.